Can you kind of just lead people through a practical, just a practical couple of steps of being able to practice the presence of Christ? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, um, I always encourage everybody. So, so right now, if you can, as long as you're not driving the car while you're listening or watching, um, if you can right now, just be, come fully center, centered into this moment, fully present. So just park your life pressures and the busyness of what's going on in the circumstance of your life, just at the door of this moment. Don't think about the future, don't think about the past and just let go of all of it. Put all of your life, the weight of your life into the hands of Jesus. Just see yourself doing that right now. And turn your attention inwards. Just begin to embrace him. Embrace him with your heart's attention and turn inwards and see Jesus. He is in the center of your spirit. He is within you. He is closer than your breath. And all you have to do is become consciously aware to begin to live the same life relationship with Jesus that he had with the Father. So just, as the scripture tells us, so just turn in. Thank you. And I'll, I'll just begin to speak to Jesus. I'll give us language and just help you go deeper now. And as you do this, just let go of all the weight. If, they, if your mind starts to pull you out of this moment, just, it's okay. Just let it go. Don't say breath. You are within me by your spirit right now. I lean into you, Jesus. I thank you for the, the power, the magnetic pull of your heart pulling me closer into you, awakening me, tuning my, me back in to the truth of your presence within me, that I am filled with God and filled with you, Jesus. Thank you that as I release my burdens and cares to you, you are faithful, you care for me. I cast my burdens on you, all the weight and the responsibility of my life right now, the impossibilities and the pressures, the sickness and the lack. Holy, holy, the tormenting thoughts, the unbelief, the fears, I just release them all to you, Jesus. I thank you, Holy, poof, this presence just enfolding you and pulling you deeper. He wants, I just felt that revelation coming from his heart to mine and for you. He wants you to know him also as the Prince of Peace. Mm. Holy, thank you. Holy, Jesus. Holy, the Prince of Peace, flooding your heart afresh with peace, bringing you into rest. Peace is a powerful word. The Prince of Shalom, the Prince of Peace who crushes Satan under your feet. The word Shalom, when you look at it in the pictorial language of the Hebrew, it means destroying the yoke that attaches to chaos. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Holy. Thank you, Lord. That's what he's doing for you now. He wants mm. you to experience freedom today, freedom from your enemy. He is destroying the yoke that attaches your life to chaos, where the enemy has put upon you chaos, oppression, despair, mm. you, hopelessness. He's thank The Lord is removing it by helping you to experience afresh right now in this moment so just keep sinking deeper into him letting go into the arms of his presence let your heart sink flop back into him holy holy jesus. thank you jesus thank you jesus and i can see him as well as he's doing this, he's freshly igniting the flame of love deep inside your heart mm. for Jesus. Holy. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. One who is faithful and true. Who is your fortress, who is your strong tower, is here. Wow. 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 Your defender and deliverer. Your prince of peace. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. You know, powerful warfare is rest. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that comes from the presence of God. Right now I can feel that. It's just mm. in, in finishing there. I can feel mm. the victory, the victory Prince, that Jesus you know, God, is establishing. Yes, Thank you, the, Jesus. The God of peace crushes Satan under his feet. Sometimes, guys, you need to just be still, and you need to turn within, and you need to do just what Liz was leading you to do. Let go of every worry what does worry add one day to your life? No, it doesn't. Let go of every fear. The Bible is full of God saying, do not fear, do not fear, for I am with you. He is with you. He's inside of you. And the more you commune with the one who is living and present in you 24 and 7, the more his power, his presence, his love, his goodness is manifested in every place you need it. I invite you to even go back. Go back and watch this part of this broadcast and just activate into that internal rest of Christ in you. And do it over and over again and you'll start to see encounter, encounter happen as you let go of everything that you think is so important and that is controlling your life and go to the root source of the river of living water and the vine that feeds you and nourishes you and gives you life. Go to him. He's the restorer of all things. He's the second Adam who has come to restore everything the first Adam lost. Amen, amen.